everybody and welcome back to more Reading Time with Miss Nan. Now today is not a nice day. It's rainy, it's cold and it's wet. What a great day. Can you hear the sea? It's very noisy. It's super noisy because it's so windy. But I brought you down today to my local place where all the boats are. The local, what's it called? Sailing club? It's local sailing club. Because today I'm going to read a story about boats and about an umbrella. So in my story, my character has an umbrella and he goes on a boat. Now it's by a very famous author called Oliver Jeffers. We've read some of his books before. And this one's called Lost and Found. Not a particularly nice day to that in there. Not a particularly nice day today. He's got an umbrella, I've got an umbrella. He's got a bubble hat, I've got a bubble hat. I love it. So we're going to read a story in the rain and the cold. Yay, love it sacrifices I go through for you guys. You're welcome. Right, here we go. Lost and found. Once there was a boy and one day he found a penguin at his door. How strange. What would you do if you found a penguin at your door? Would you let the penguin in? Would you go and um, phone the local zoo in case he's missing? A bit strange, isn't it? Find a penguin at the door. The boy didn't know where he had come from, but it began to follow him everywhere. The penguin looked sad, and the boy thought it must be lost. Poor penguin. So the boy decided to help the penguin find its way home. He checked in the lost and found office, but no one was missing a penguin. He asked the birds if they knew where the penguin came from, but they ignored him. Some birds are just like that. How rude. I think you'd know if you lost a penguin, wouldn't you? The boy asked his duck, but the duck floated away. He didn't know. That night, the boy couldn't sleep for disappointment. He wanted to help the penguin, but he didn't know how. If you could help a penguin, what would you do? The next morning, he discovered that penguins come from the South Pole. But how could he get there? He ran down to the harbour and asked a big ship to take them to the South Pole. But his voice was much too small to be heard over the ship's horn. He's tiny. Uh, that's my ship horn noise. So together, he and the penguin would row to the South Pole. The boy took his rowboat out of the cupboard and they tested it for strength and size. They packed everything they would need and together they pushed the rowboat out to sea. And their adventure begins. Now, they packed everything they would need. What do you think you might need if you were going on an adventure to the South Pole in a rowboat? I think you'd definitely need a waterproof jacket. They rode south for many days and nights, with a boy telling stories all the way. The penguin listened to everything that the boy said. Looks like quite a nice adventure, making friends. They floated through good and bad weather, when the waves were as big as mountains. That looks scary. I'm not sure I'd want to be on that sea. Until they came to the South Pole. The boy was delighted, but the penguin said nothing. Suddenly, it looked sad again as the boy helped it out of the boat. Welcome to the South Pole. Why isn't the penguin sad? They've got back to his home. He should be happy, right? The boy said goodbye and floated away. But as he looked back, the penguin looked sadder than ever. It's not what you want to see, a sad penguin, do you? It felt strange to be on his own. And the more he thought, the more he knew he was making a big mistake. 
the penguin wasn't lost, he was just lonely. What's he going to do? Quickly he turned the boat around and headed back to the South Pole as fast as he could. At last he reached the pole again, but where was the penguin? The boy searched and searched, but he was nowhere to be found. Where could he have gone? He was only there a few minutes ago. Oh, I see a clue. Sadly, the boy set off for home. There was no point telling stories because there was no one to listen except the wind and the waves. Ooh. But then the boy saw something in the water ahead of him. Closer and closer he got until he could see... The penguin! Oh, look at him moving his umbrella! I'm not sure my umbrella would survive that. So the boy and his friend went home together, talking of wonderful things all the way. Oh, I like that story. Thank you, Oliver Jeffers, for another fantastic story. Lost and found. Now, if you enjoyed this story by Oliver Jeffers, I think you might enjoy other stories by him. So why don't you go and find some books by Oliver Jeffers today and give them a read? Because he is a fantastic author and can write some really lovely stories. Now, it does make me think, actually, this story, is what would you do if you were lost or you were lonely? Who would you go and talk to? Now, during this lockdown, you might feel a little bit lonely. You might feel like you're on your own and you have no one to talk to. But that is not true, is it? Think about the people that you live with, your friends. While you can't see them in person, you can still go and talk to them online. I don't want you to feel lonely today. So, why don't you go and find someone that you can talk to? Right, I'm going to go inside now because I'm very wet. My glasses are covered in water. I can barely see you and it's very windy. So have a great day, everybody, and I'm going to see you again very soon for more Reading Time with Miss Num.